So I don't know how well you guys can see, but there's a giant fire behind me. Uh, it's caught the entire mountain on fire back there. I'm not so good at estimating distance, uh, but it's it's not too far away. Um, I'm actually uh, maybe a mile away from where I used to work, my old job, which is kind of ironic that I would be back here filming for YouTube. Uh, not not long after I decided to leave that. Um, you know, I mean, whatever. Today is the today's the 16th. It's Sunday. It's a beautiful day aside from the fire. It's a little bit whack that the air just barely cleared up and now we're, we're back at it again. Uh, I don't really want to get too close. It is, it's fairly far away. I'd say about 20 miles or so until the actual flames and they've been fighting it for the last couple days. And so they've got it a lot under control. In fact, there's a chopper up there. I don't know if you guys can see. This is a true test to see how good my camera actually is uh, because I can see it pretty clearly, but I mean, you can't see anything really clearly because there's a giant smoke plume in the way, but it is what it is. Um, the winds actually changed direction for the last couple of days. It's been blowing it into where I live uh, and you could like taste it. It was so bad, but uh, this morning it, it changed directions. The wind's actually blowing it out towards like behind me, which is good. There's not as many people over there anyway. Um, as I'm driving up here though, I, I started thinking about like, that's a, that's a place back there. That's a literal place. And, um, and it's, it's drastically changed, right? So like whatever animals and bugs and stuff used to live there, it's not the same anymore. And then I started thinking about how many different places that I have lived or how many different, like, so like my grade school doesn't exist anymore. They tore that sucker out. And then my middle school doesn't exist anymore. They tore that out. And so like, there's not a lot of places that I can go back to. Luckily, my mom still is in the same place I was raised at. So that's kind of cool. But aside from that, like everything's changing. Whether it's the city that you guys live in, whether it's the mountain catching fire, whether it's your mindset or whatever. I just thought it was interesting because if you think that a place is safe, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I'll be safe if I live uh, in wherever. And it's like, no, then you get hit by a tornado. And we just had that hurricane on the, on the East Coast, which is crazy. So nowhere is safe from change, I think. And uh, it's just interesting. Um, so I guess I thought I'd share with you that. I haven't really done a whole lot else. I, I, well, I'll tell you that too. So I try to post up the vlogs every Sunday and I actually missed. Today is Sunday and I, I didn't get the video uploaded in time because my internet's for some reason took a dip in upload speed. So I'm getting, I'm literally getting 0.2 megabits per second upload, which uh, for like a 10 minute video, which is typically the size of the video that I do, 10 to 12 minutes, um, it's been taking roughly like 18 hours if it'll actually do it. Sometimes it gets partially through and it cancels. I have to restart, which is terrible. So I need to switch internet providers is the, the main story there. Uh, but that's, that's not really important. But what, what I am going to say is that like, if for whatever reason I don't upload as, as frequently, know that I, I seriously want to. And I'm going to try it, maybe go to like a library or something like that and see if I can use their internet to upload something. Who knows, maybe, but it is annoying and it's something that I've got to work out and figure out what I'm doing. <sighs> Which is, it's terribly annoying. Anyone who's ever done internet shopping knows how bad it is. Cause they're all bad. It's like, whether you go through, I mean, whoever you go through, it's, it sucks. Um, it's never as fast as they say it is. It's, and it's always more expensive than they say it is. And it's just like the nature of things. And I really, I'm not looking forward to it, but it's a necessary evil if I'm gonna keep this up. And I'm going to keep this up. You have my word because I told you guys before and I do not, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to mess up now. Right? Like there's, I've gone too far to turn around and, and not do it. And it's fun. It's something that I really enjoy doing. <sighs> well, so you will get this not, it's, it's the 16th today. You're not going to get it today. But you will get it next Sunday, whatever that is, 20 something. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well as always. I hope that your 
the mountains that you left next to are not on fire. And I'm gonna head back home because I am starving and I also really need to go to the bathroom I'm pretty far away from home because I, I kept driving to get to where the mountain is, a good view of it, and uh, it, I kept running into like buildings that were in the way or uh, different signs or stuff like that. So I'm on a hill right now, which is a little bit better. You can see it a little bit better. And uh, that's really all it. And I hope again that you guys are doing awesome. I'll catch you later. All right, peace. Here we go. We're all gonna die. Well, not us, but a lot of woodland creatures, I'm sure. Poor guys. And there are like there's entire... a spider. Everyone, welcome back to another episode. Uh, it's the 18th of September. Abs and I just finished at the gym. Hello. You can actually see him if you look closely enough. There he is. Uh, but wanted to just film and say what's up and hope you guys are doing super good. Uh, I'm being held against my will. <laughs> kind of, kind of, actually. He, yeah, he I was like, nope, you're up. doing it. All well, right. we went looking for a place because it's it's super dark and I didn't want to get out of the car. But So Abe was like, let's go to the car wash. So you we're, know what the we are literally right now in a car wash. This car is surprisingly like a good place to record. It's pretty soundproof in here. You think? Yeah, if that tiny Well, the mic, the mic is I tiny mean it's, cell phone microphone works. Yeah, it's not bad. It it is. It does. It serves my purpose well. So what do you want to talk about today, Andrew? Well, Brother Smash, our gaming channel just got 102 subscribers. Last I checked, you. we got 102. We we're now able to change the URL to YouTube.com oh, yeah. slash, slash Brother, Brother Smash. Smash, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's a big day. It is a big and day. We appreciate it. We're going to do a special 100 subscriber episode. Yeah, so my plan, and I've actually already ordered these. You don't know this, but they'll be, they'll arrive at my house tomorrow. But what is it? I'm getting like little electrical patches that they stick to your arm. And so we'll hook ourselves up to a like a battery. He did this to me before with a little one, and it was painful. The, and these I ones are like three times the size. I cannot hang with that. Yeah, well, so we'll start, his, his we'll idea, start low. My idea is we're going to play Smash Brothers while hooked up to this like electrical thing. <laughs> and so it will be it will be contracting the muscles in our arms while we're trying to play Smash. I, we're going to see how that goes. I will submit I to that, but I don't know if I can make it more than like... 20 seconds well, I think, how bad that was I think before. the loser will get their side turned up. Oh, so we start off low. Saying? We start off I'm super okay with low. That. that sounds It's fun. like whoever loses, then you get more. That's a good and idea. Then, then you have to to try to win while being electrocuted. I recommended we go go-karting, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, go-karting's fine. Andrew's but like, no, straight to game of death. <laughs> Well, this seemed, it seemed cost effective. I'm a frugal man. I can, these things were like $9, these electrical things. I already have a- I just had an ulterior motive. I wanted to ride- You wanted to go, go, go. Well, but, so do I. And we uh, might do that eventually. Yeah. I think it would be difficult to film us going go-karting. That is true. And it would probably be pretty boring because we can't has, really provide commentary to that. Yeah, but, it would just <laughs> as we're being smashed to the side. Abs and I went go-karting um, like a month ago. Maybe not, a little more, not more really. than a month. We, we it wasn't like even runs. really go-karting. It was like bullshit, like child-friendly go-karting. It was pretty go-karting I've ever done, and it was pretty bad. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But there are some super fast ones that you can also do. But but these ones, Abe literally lapped me. I was in a slow as shit car. Either that or I just don't know how to drive. So that's when I was like, we're doing it for real. And that's pretty cool. Maybe and I got day. stuck, and Andrew saved me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a big, uh, there was a big group of people. Abe got... What happened to you? How did you get stuck? I can't even remember. I... So I got, I was in you first. You rammed into something. I was definitely in first. And then uh, someone that I had lapped came and cut me off and slammed oh, me. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. And I came I, behind you and I rear-ended you. You freed me. Yeah. Uh, and then everyone passed me, which is fine. Whatever. We won. As far as you guys as a know, team. we could have lied. <laughs> yeah, true. But yeah. As a team, we won. As, as a team. brothers. Uh, but. So electrocution, brother smash. I'm okay with that. I think it would be super funny. I think it will be impossible to play after a point. Yeah, I think that's gonna happen real quick. So there is, every now and then, like my back or my shoulders will hurt, and so I'll put it on my shoulders to try to fix the muscle. And so like, you can read like that, and that's fine. But like, I was trying to edit videos the other day with it on, and I couldn't actually click. It was like, and I was just, I'm trying to make the thumbnails <laughs> for the video, and it's like, cr let's crop it. Okay, no, let's crop, uh, uh, no, okay. And All it right, was I, super difficult. For, I'm curious for enough. Like, I precision work. I'm okay with this. This sounds fun. Yes, but yes. 
So but stay tuned to Brother Smash. It's probably so going to be a short watch. episode. Abs and I get electrocuted yeah. while playing video games. And there's a link in the description, I assume, unless Andrew's too lazy to There always is. There has been since we started the channel. There you go. There, there you go. Pretty cool stuff. Um, Do you want to talk about it? robots? Oh, yeah. We were talking. Quick we were at question. the gym. Quick question. So if there was a if there was a robot, let's say that technology advances far enough in the future and we are able to replace different limbs of ours. Like if I wanted cybernetic arms, right? Not like the guy from Treasure Planet, but like, in my mind, it's like the the robots from iRobot, like slick, sleek, like it kind of- It looks and feels like an arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks and feels same like an arm, but it's same. still a robot, but it has like superior endurance and superior strength, and it doesn't get tired, doesn't get sore. Would you swap out your body parts for robot body parts? Because I, like your organic limbs, I would, you almost, would you chop them off and replace them with the robot arms? And I'm not saying like, would you do it in the kitchen with a knife? No, no, tonight. I'm just saying, I'm you, saying like, you would you go up to, yeah, would, would you, you sign surgically up for the destroy your body and replace it with? I nope. am under the impression that I would, because I think that any progress, I'm, I'm very much like, if the ends justify the means, it's still good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and it's like the end, I get some awesome, super hyper endurance. To, to a degree, Strength I would imagine. Arm. That's I'm, cool. I'm okay I'm, with it in the sense that, like, if I'm gonna lose an arm anyway, yeah, I'd rather have that than, well, like, yeah, a for sure. whatever. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would not destroy my body to get a different body. And I get I it would. would be for the superior. sake of progress, I absolutely would. Alright, well, let me ask you this then. Okay. Would you cut off your dick and replace it with a robot dick? A robot dick. <laughs> Just... That's how a drill works! Can do anything a dick can, but cybernetically enhanced times a thousand. Cybernetically enhanced. <laughs> you could flip tables. I... You could. Whoa! <laughs> no. No, see, no, I wouldn't no. do that either. No. Same thing with an arm Not for me. Dick. Because, yeah, same thing with an arm <laughs> for me. It's like, for me, I want to build rather than destroy. So I said if I could just take like a super serum and become as strong as the robot man, yeah, because I'm building. But if I have to destroy my old body and replace it with a robot body... Not worth it. I'm destroying something. Uh, I'm not cool with I that. Still, Seems... I still am going to say that I would do it. Not the robot dick, the robot arms. Well, here's the other thing. I thought a robot eye. If you, yeah, absolutely. That'd be kind of like, cool. Like, without hesitation. Uh, something with, like, 20 times zoom. Yeah. It's just and, like, mm, infrared. That'd be kind of cool. For sure, I would do it. That, that, without even a second thought. Here's the Only thing. one, though, right? If you... If you just so you could know. Yeah, that's true. If your quality which, got which inverted. Real? So you could be like, oh, I'm seeing green. What's going on? Let's calibrate. Yeah, that'd okay. be interesting. If you... I think the other thing is, there was, there was like, that five-year period where I had, like, super crazy chronic pain in both my legs yeah so every day he got in a car crash those, i got in a car crash and i i God bless him truly destroyed like both my legs i had to go to physical therapy he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. the cheeky bugger yeah anyway so there was not a single day a seat belt, during those five years that i was like i wish i had different legs and like still today and i think if you if you have pain if your shit's not working for like years you start to think super heavily on like, I'm I don't sure, think yeah. that the, the physical like, is worth yeah, this. If it was like Abe, you Not have, the physical, but like the, the organic is worth this. Yeah, if it was like Abe, your arm got crushed in a, under a car, do you want a robot arm or do you want to just keep... Do you want to work for five years to rebuild it and you get sort of the strength back? Like my legs are not back to normal. I wouldn't... I don't think they ever will be. I wouldn't... Uh, I mean, that seems reasonable, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of the position where I'm coming from. And I totally see the your position where it's like, you don't I, have want a per a robot I have dick. a perfectly good me. Why would I, why would I forsake it? You don't want a robot dick. No. You don't want a robot dick. You can episode. cut that part right out of this episode here. Eh. It's already 10 minutes long. You guys, thank you very much for hanging out. I hope you're doing super good. I will catch you later. I gotta go home and eat some food. I gotta go home. Poor Abe. No food. I gotta, I gotta go home. No food. <laughs> Bye, guys. I've been out here for days. What's going on, everyone? Today is the 21st of September. Uh, I've had the last two days off. I've got the day off today. So that's three in a row. That's something unique for me and my job. 
Um, I've been taking a lot of time off here. Uh, I've been editing a lot, which has been cool. I've been filming a lot, which has been cool. I've got three new projects done. Uh, well, I just barely finished the art book, uh, the Howl's Moving Castle art book. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, um, that one's going to be fresh on, up on the page. So go ahead and look at that. Let me know what you guys think. And then uh, also, I've been reading a whole lot. I've been reading uh, Promise Neverland. Got uh, caught up with that, volumes one through five. And then I've been reading, what else? I read Dr. Stone. That was pretty good. I read, I've been reading Ghost and the Lady. I've got the first volume done of that. And then, uh, because I, I want to finish that somewhat quick because we've got book club coming up for the Discord chat. Uh, and that is next Saturday, I do believe. Uh, and what else? What else have I been reading? Astra. Astra's pretty freaking good. Reading a little bit of Astra. Um... That's basically it. Between reading and editing, uh, I watched... I've been watching the show on... I've been watching it on Amazon Prime, their little network thing, but uh, it's called The Expanse. I've seen like four episodes worth. That's pretty cool, because I was look after reading Astra, I was really excited to get into more like sci-fi, sort of like space stuff, and I, I looked some stuff up, and uh, The Expanse was highly recommended, so I checked that out. Uh, and that's pretty good. It's pretty cool. And the, it's not, like, amazing. I haven't lost my mind with it yet, but it is, it is keeping my attention. Um, other than that, I've just been basically just chilling, which is nice to, to finally relax a little bit, you know what I mean? So that is pretty cool. Typically, I film the vlog when I'm leaving work, when I'm coming home from work, but since I haven't been to work for, like, two days... I wanted to take this time now, otherwise we're going to have a sparse vlog like last week. That was only three days because I've had other days off too. Oh, I've also been going to the gym with, with abs a whole lot. We went twice this week, went once with Nana. So, some lots of physical activity. Now I'm just kind of resting, recuperating, I suppose. Um, basically it. That's basically it. Oh, I did buy some... Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'll tell you guys that about late. I'll tell you guys about that later but I bought some stuff some cool stuff so I'll let you know I'll let you know in a bit once it shows up I don't want to jump the gun and have something happen and then feel stupid about saying it anyway now I've gone on way too long hope you guys are having a spectacular day I'll see you later all right peace how's it going everyone today is September the 22nd uh, just finished with work stopped off here uh, against this nice brick wall uh, on my way home, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, a couple things specifically. One is that on my way home, I actually went and stopped and got some groceries, and they had Christmas trees up in the store that I was in, and that's a little bit crazy. We're talking over three months before Christmas, and we have trees. And, uh, and I personally don't really like Christmas. I know that that's an unpopular opinion, and I... I'm very alone in my disdain for Christmas. Um, I don't really like any holidays. I don't like special occasions at all. Like, I'm not a big anniversary person. I'm not a big... Uh, well, I'm not a big celebration person either, but definitely not a big, a big uh, holiday person. Um, when I was a kid, I really liked Halloween. Uh, but that's it. I really never liked Christmas. I liked getting stuff, like, don't get me wrong. Um, especially when I was... I don't know, like 13, 12, 13 years old. Like that was, those were good times because we had the GameCube and we had, I was just getting into manga for the first time. And so Christmas then was sweet. And we had Bionicles and we had Zoids and Beyblades and all the sort of stuff like that. So that was fun. But the Christmas, Christmas as a holiday is a little bit whack. And I think, honestly, if I had the choice as a kid to either spread out the gifts and get like one thing every three weeks throughout the year instead of Christmas, I think I would have rather done that. Maybe. My adult self says yes, that that's true, but I don't know if my kid self will have said yes. Um, so Christmas tree up th over three months before Christmas is a little bit whack, but one other thing. So I, I was 
I spoke with a woman earlier today and for just a moment and she says she asked me what what college I had attended and I said I I didn't attend college and she was super puzzled and I I've gotten this a lot actually where people well I asked why right and she says oh you just you you're very intelligent you speak very intelligently and and I can tell you're you're a smart person and that's and and it was like uh, And I don't want to. I don't want to seem prideful, like I'm so smart when I'm talking to random people. Uh, but I also want to word this properly because it's going to come out come out sounding terrible. Uh, but but I I am frequently bothered by the fact that a vast majority of people confuse college with intelligence uh just like wealth is not the same thing as money and just like power is not the same thing as strength um intelligence and education are two very different things and you can be exceptionally intelligent and not be formally educated at all and you can be formally educated as all get out and be stupid as shit and i've seen examples of both so frequently it's disturbing and to have to have more and more people on a more and more regular basis um, misconstrue the two concerns me and it makes me worry about the state of the earth like the population in general do you guys know what I mean I hope someone knows what I mean because like and, and not that there's anything wrong with college. There are a couple things that I could say that are wrong with college, but nothing inherently is wrong with college in general. The idea of furthering education is good, um, and I further my education frequently, but I do it on my own time, and I don't, uh, I don't attend a physical school or an online university, and especially now with YouTube. Like, go up into the search bar right now and type on, like, literally anything. Like... There's vocabulary lessons, and there's how to write HTML coding, and and you could, you could learn how to farm, and you can like I've seen so many things because of YouTube. That like truly amazing things, and and I have never been to uh, I've I've never formally educated myself as far as college goes. There like last summer I took a course. Um, but it was something that I was interested in, and I took the one course, and I said, "Oh, yeah, that's why I don't do this." And then I, and then I stopped. And and I'm no, I don't want to shit on anyone who has been to college. I don't want to shit on anyone who is presently going to college. But I will say to the people who plan to attend college, think about if there is, think about what you want to do, and then think about whether or not there are ways to accomplish that without the use of college, because. If let us say that I want to, that I wanted to write, that I wanted to program. Let's pretend that I and I do. I do want to program. I want to learn programming. And there's an app that I would like to make. Um, but I'm not going to college to do that. I will figure out how on my own, like through YouTube. And there's there's. Um, Tons of, of online stuff like Skillshare, I know is a huge, uh, I guess, learning program that will, will you can pick courses and learn literally anything. Uh, like I remodeled my old house two years ago using information that I found via YouTube, um, how to do tile, how to do plumbing, how to do electric work. And all you have to do is just pay attention and have the have the perseverance and wherewithal to actually do it. And I think that's the most difficult part. And I think that's why people attend college for the most part is because they were told that they should. And once they're there and they're doing it, they feel like, okay, I'll just continue on this path. And again, that's not the best thing that you could be doing. So ask yourself if what you want to do and what you plan to do 
you need a formal education for it, because oftentimes you don't. And the idea of a quote unquote formal education is becoming more and more ridiculous in this day and age. Um, there are graphic designers who have never been to school in their lives and they make some of the most beautiful work I've ever seen. Uh, and there are, there are like master level chefs who are able to make the most beautiful and delicious food imaginable and they've never been to culinary school. You just have to have the drive and, and, and the discipline to force yourself to do something. And if you don't have that, college won't do you any good anyway. There are people, I, I know many people, who have formal educations and they don't, you, are, they're not working in the field that they have the education for. And that's just silly. So my main point, again, just don't, don't confuse uh, education and, and literal college because they, they don't correlate any longer. There was a time when they did, and 2018 is, is not that time. So <sighs> we get beautiful day after beautiful day. I'm looking at clouds right now, and they're gorgeous clouds. Uh, on the most blue, fantastic sky. However, this morning it was still very uh, smoke polluted. The air was. It was. It was very bad air. Uh, but now everything seems fine. It's amazing what a little change of breeze can do. You know what I mean? That's all. Uh, I hope you guys had fun this week. I hope you plan to have some fun next week. Make sure you're eating super good food and getting uh, enough sleep for you personally. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. It's simple. Life is simple. It can be simple. A lot often people I like really complicated, but it's not that bad. It's it's quite easy. Just eat and sleep and take care of yourself, earn a little bit of money, do something that you love. That's it. Simple as that, right? Cool. Hope you guys are doing awesome. I'll catch you next week. All right. Later.